Skyrim VR, Super Hot VR, Hitman VR, Fruit Ninja VR, Tetris VR. If you own a VR headset, chances are you might have already played a remake of a popular game in virtual reality. Sometimes for good, sometimes for bad, and in some occasion even doing better than the original. Which makes me really think, what separates the good from the bad? Can all games be made in VR? So to answer this question, I've decided to challenge myself and make my own VR adaptation of one of the most popular games of all time, Mario Kart. Will this game suck? What will we learn on this journey? Let's find out today. So without further ado, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. Now, to make my own Mario Kart, the first thing we need to do is make the car controller. And let me tell you this, I'm not an engineer, but if you thought at first like I did, that this would be a piece of cake, then think again. Car physics simulation is an intricate problem that requires friction of the wheel, braking, center of mass of the engine, drift settings, suspension, and if you just miss by a tiny setting, then everything falls apart. Ah! And I'm just joking with you because you can literally consider your car to be a ball, make it roll around and make your car follow it, and you will also get a really good car controller. No volume, you cannot make a car into a ball, haha, <laughs> ball goes vroom vroom. By the way, thank you to Mix and Jam and Kenny for showing this technique, and if you are interested to learn the physically accurate car controller, Unity has also made an amazing karting project available for free that you should definitely go check out. And after some more tweaking and importing the 3D model of the Mario Kart NES racing track, we got ourselves a great car controller that I can control with my keyboard and with a pretty satisfying drift mechanism. Déjà vu, I'll just be in this place before. But now is the big challenge. We need to make this work in VR. So wish I will annihilate the old third person camera and instead put the camera inside the car and make it VR supported so that if I move my head, the camera will rotate as well. And now let's find out what our game will look like from the inside. Just putting VR in this is a whole new world, but the first moment you put on your VR headset in a world you just built, it's just magical to me. But enough with this nonsense, now the next step is this, we need to replace key control with VR control. So I could use the button on the VR controller, but I think it would be a bit more immersive to actually grab the steering wheel Look like this, you to turn the car. And there you go, that works, all car can be controlled in VR. Ah. I've also tried to use a lever for the acceleration, which didn't work out too much, as I thought it was too hard to control the car this way, so the player can increase the speed and drift with the trigger button. By the way, if you want to learn how to make the steering wheel and make a car work in VR, I've made a step-by-step -step tutorial on my Patreon where you can support this channel, have access to the source code of all of my projects and other exclusive content. And surprise, surprise, the complete source code of this Mario Kart project will be also uploaded there. Now, what would be Mario Kart without a small Italian plumber with a moustache, right? So let me present to you Mario French Relative, Marcel, Louis and Pesh. What? What's wrong? Oh, you mean they look the same? Oh, you, you're really saying that I was too lazy to make them different, don't you? Now, to make this beautiful 3D character follow the movement of the player, I use inverse kinematics which allow me to find the movement of the whole body based only on the position of the hands and on the head. And there you go, now everything looks great and I mean it even looks better from the outside. I've also decided to go a bit further by making a separate scene to choose which player you want. And I must say I'm quite happy with the disco style that I made here. Okay, so we are making giant step with our game so far. But there is something that I want to try that might be a bit risky. To make my game multiplayer. But I've already made some multiplayer setup before, so it should be easy, right? If only he knew what was going to happen. Now the basic is pretty simple. To make a multiplayer game in VR, you need to send over the network the position of the hands and of the head. And pop an avatar just like yours to the other player game. And ta-da! Now congratulations, you have turned your game into a weird VR chatbot. 
Now, what I didn't anticipate it was the rest. You see, sending players data was easy, but synchronizing the gameplay is so freaking hard. You select an avatar, you must say which to the network, you start the race, network, who has won? Network? And I'm not even talking about player lobby. Problem with this connection? And so on. But after a lot of hassle, this is the result. And there you go guys, we managed to create our own VR adaptation of Mario Kart, so what do you think of this project? I had really a good time while making this and learned so much more about VR development with this project. But I also learned that not all games are meant for VR, and a good adaptation must emphasize the uses of VR for their game in a balance between gameplay and immersion. Maybe the question that we should ask is, if you remove VR from the game, does it still make sense? Hey, maybe if it still makes sense, it means that you are not doing a correct use of VR. Look at Beat Saber, remove VR and it doesn't have much sense, right? And strangely the same goes for all really successful VR games. Thank you for watching this video till the end and tell me what game you would love to see be remade in VR. Who knows, maybe I will do it in the next video. Now for the one who want to play this game, unfortunately for copyright reason I cannot share the game publicly, but if you want to play something similar in VR, you should definitely check Dash Dash World, which was also an inspiration for this project. As mentioned earlier, the full project will be available on my Patreon, so go check it out if you want also to support my channel. And on that matter, a big shout out to my new Patreon who joined lately, you guys are the best. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.